My name is Cheryl Arbelias, and I am a graduate student with Liberty University studying developmental psychology. And this is the first video discussion board post for Psych 525 Advanced Developmental Psychology. The topic for this week's discussion is developmental psychology and Christian faith. The students were presented with three prompts and were asked to choose one of the three on which to comment. The first choice was to describe the greatest opportunity for and the main obstacle standing against the integration of Christian faith and developmental psychology. The second choice was to respond to the following statement, quote, I just can't trust psychology. I mean, most of the theorists are secular. The only trustworthy source of truth is the Bible. The third choice on which a student could comment was to respond to the statement, from a biblical perspective, why should a person consider studying developmental psychology? I chose to comment on the third prompt. From a biblical perspective, why should a person consider studying developmental psychology? After completing a Master of Arts degree in Human Services Counseling Life Coaching in 2015, I found that I still had many questions about how and why people think, feel, and behave the way they do. With so many questions left unanswered, I decided to further my education. I wanted to be able to offer individuals hope for a better future, no matter what their circumstances or life experiences. I knew that I could not offer hope without learning more about developmental psychology and then integrating that knowledge of psychology with Christian faith. But what is developmental psychology? To put in short terms, I would describe it as those who are interested in the study of human behavior across the lifespan. As Patricia Miller describes in our text, Theories of Developmental Psychology, developmental theorists are intrigued by their observations of what they see children and adults do. They try to make sense of those observations and expand their understanding of the nature of development. Miller explains that a theory organizes and gives meaning to facts and guides future research. Even within my Christian faith, I at times face opposition when sharing with others that I am pursuing a Master of Science degree in developmental psychology. I have had people tell me, do not try to psychoanalyze me. I have also had people ask me where I was obtaining my psychology degree. When I share that I am studying from Liberty University, I am greeted in a more positive context. One individual went as far as to say, quote, good, because if you were studying from a university that was not a Christian university, I would not listen to anything you would tell me, end quote. In one aspect, I understand what they are saying, but in another aspect, I do not. If I was studying medicine, would that same individual not come to my practice if I received my medical degree from a non-Christian university? As a Christian, I believe it is important to approach psychology from a biblical perspective. We should want to obtain as much information from as many sources of truth and facts as possible. Dr. Chad Magnuson asked in this week's video, where can we find truth? He asks, is truth only found in the Bible or is truth also available outside of scriptures and in God's creation. The truth of who we are and why we are here can be found in God's Word. In addition, we can find additional information about who we are in scientific research. I always tell people that we were created to be relational. I also believe that relationships exist between the Christian faith and developmental psychology. It is important to continue to observe the world around us and be interested in how things work and how they can work better together. It is important to understand why people think, feel, and behave the way they do. Miller describes developmental psychology and developmental theorists as those who are intrigued by what they see children and adults do and try to make sense of those observations. In the same way, that we make observations of people around us, it is important to make observations about our environment around us and know that we have a creator. As Jules-Henri Poincaré said, quote, science is built up of facts as a house is built of stones. 
but an accumulation of facts is no more a science than a heap of stones is a house, end quote. And Miller says, just as stones need an architect or a blueprint to become a house, so do facts need a theorist to give those facts structure and show their relation to the overall design. That is a direct quote from Miller. Genesis 127 reads, so, man, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Therefore, as we seek to understand more about God's creation, we are also learning more about our Creator. Throughout the Bible, Christ saw and was aware of the needs of others. He understood and was aware of what was happening so he could meet a person's individual needs. As Christians, we are called to be more like Christ, and we too should seek to understand individuals so we can meet their individual needs and share hope through Christ. 1 John 2, 6 reads, The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he walked. With the integration of developmental psychology and Christian faith, Individuals can see and understand the world around them through the broad-based observation lenses they choose to see and understand.